Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have my Spring Summer, Spring Summer Module 1 lookbook. <laughs> um, I have, I'm going to put a pop-up uh, link up here to the um, plans video that I have for this module. But the whole basis behind this module, um, this is going to be Module 1 and then I'm going to have my plans video actually for Module 2 for you on Tuesday. So stay tuned, because I'm trying to get at least two modules completely finished uh, before Me Made May. Because um, my plan is to do for my Me Made May, I'm going to try and dress in these 12 items. Um, actually, maybe 14. I might be adding a couple of dresses in there, too. We'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of my plan. So I, I want to get my plans for Module 2 out to you very soon as well. So that'll be coming out to you on Tuesday. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got fun and exciting things planned. Um, but the whole basis of this whole module sewing that I'm doing right now, it's six pieces. It is one topper, two bottoms, and three tops, which is obviously very heavy reliant on separates, which I do love, and I wear separates a lot, but um, I don't want to just wear separates, which is why I'm thinking of adding maybe two dresses or maybe a dress and a jumpsuit into the Me Made May clip capsule. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm also exploring body shape and body image, or not body image, body shape and... Um, kind of your um, body type. Um, I'm looking at the David Kibbe, I'm a soft classic, which is like drapey fabrics, v-necks, kind of what I'm wearing. Um, this is a Mimi G top from a previous capsule, but um, it's fun to go through my closet and pick out things that I've already made that go with all of this other stuff, which is kind of the whole point of um, creating these capsules. So I have a very cohesive uh, closet. On that note, let's talk about the six pieces. Okay. So I had planned on, um, oh, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll start with, we'll go down in descending order. So we'll start with the topper first, maybe, if I can pull it up here. <laughs> for, my to ooh, for my topper, I decided to make the Helen's Closet Blackwood Cardigan. And actually, you've seen this before. I, um, this was so my style for uh, March for last month. And I made this, um, it was this pattern and it was also the Como cardigan by, um, I'll pop a link to that video, my So My Style. But anyway, I made the shorter version of the Blackwood cardigan and I did it in this cashmere cloud knit. Um, it's a blend, um, but it feels like heaven. It's so soft. And I have another Blackwood, the longer line version that I've made out of this almost, ident uh, it is the identical fabric, but in kind of a camel color. So I knew I loved this fabric for this pattern and I wanted a shorter one. So I have made the shorter line version. I absolutely love it. I, I really love the long line version, but I think this is such a fun um, difference. So this hits me like mid hip. Um, I really, really love it. It's gotten a lot of wear already. Um, and I love it on top of all of these pieces. And I, it's just a great transition piece as the weather starts to warm up. Um, Cause we've actually even been able to, I've worn shorts one day, which was like, whoo, here in, a, <laughs> in Indiana in April. Um, but I still need something on my arms. So I love, I love a cardigan for that. So this was my topper for this capsule. I'm going to have video of me wearing all of these and I'm actually going to, these six items will make 12 outfits because each of the three tops go with each of the two bottoms. So that is six outfits and then you can repeat all six of those outfits with the topper. So I have video of me wearing all of those and I'm gonna do the whole montage at the end of this video. So you'll see me in all of these at the end if you hold on till then. <laughs> So yes, love the topper. This was a big success, I love this one. Okay, um, try and not just throw things. Although that looks awful, you can see that in the picture. Okay, we'll just lay that on the floor. All right, now time for the two bottoms. Now I had planned on making two yellow bottoms. My pants, which were the sew along that you actually are going to see next week, next Friday. No, not next Friday. Next Friday, you're going to see the Sew My Style reveal. You will see the pants sew along next weekend. I'm actually going to have a Saturday, Sunday video go up, which I don't normally do. But I wanted the sew along to go up, so it's going to go up next Saturday and Sunday. Um, with a fly zip tutorial going up next, the Wednesday that we're getting ready to have. So next Wednesday. <laughs> because that needs to happen first, because that's homework for the pants. Um, but I've got these yellow pants that I were making for the sew along, and then I also had a yellow skirt. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, 
um, and I can't even remember which one I talked about it, but I'm having some issues with the skirt at the moment. I'm having a flare-up. I've got some autoimmune issues, and um, I've talked a little bit about it, and some food allergies, and I'm just having a flare-up right now, and my stomach is swollen. <laughs> And I'm, I think I've maybe got it nailed out down, like what's going on, but just my stomach, my stomach is just very distended right now. Um, my waist measurement grew by three inches over a week. Um, and it's just cause things are, yeah, it's just a constant battle. Everyone was sending such kind comments about you. I hope you feel better. And it's just, it's just, this is unfortunately, I mean, it's my life. It's the way I live. It's not awful. I'm not in horrendous pain or anything. It's annoying. It's frustrating because I think I have something figured out and then I just, then all of a sudden I don't and I have to go back into detective mode again and more things get taken out of my diet and it, it can get a little depressing, but I'm fine. Um, thank you guys though for all your wonderful, like, tips and um, ideas and it's also lovely to hear other people that struggle with this. It's just so frustrating. Um, but anyway, I have put the skirt on the back burner. It is because it is sits at my natural waist and right now I even had on one of my waddle skirts um, that were loose in the waist um, yesterday I think and that was constricting me and just wasn't comfortable. Um, it just, it doesn't Without, without boring you with my health issues, but when I, it's not just uncomfortable to have things there, but it causes pain in other parts of my body when I do am constricted in my waist. And I'm sure it's just that the swelling, you know, it needs to be not constricted. <laughs> so when I put something very wasted on, when I'm in these flare-ups, it just, it causes like weird back pain, a weird pain in my arm. I get like a weird shooting pain down my arm. So anyway, I have put the skirt in timeout because I have gorgeous buttons that are gonna look amazing on it and the skirt's gonna be really wonderful when it's done. Um, but I just need to wait until I get these figured out. So all of that to say, I put in my white jeans <laughs> to the end of the spot. Because the other part of these modules is I don't necessarily, when I do my second module, when you see the plans video for that, I'm not making all six items. I mean, I have, the ones that I've put in, I have made, um, except for maybe one. I might have one ready to wear item in there. I haven't decided yet what I'm, which one I'm gonna do. It may, my jean jacket may make it in as the topper. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make a jacket or not. I might though. Anyway, <laughs> um, God, I am rambling today. I am sorry, excuse my complete like incohesiveness. But um, I like the idea of pulling things from my closet, me made things, most because most of my closet is me made, um, to put into these capsules. I think it's a great way to um, figure out how to wear things in your closet. So I've put my white jeans in place for the bottom. These are the ginger jeans. I've had these for a couple years now. I made them in a white cone mill denim. Um, and I, I am not entirely sure where the hardware came from. I feel like I used mix bag of... <laughs> I bought so many hardware kits over the years um, that I some I get leftovers, and so sometimes I can do a whole pair of jeans just because they give you extras a lot of times. Whole pair of jeans just in the leftovers, but I love these jeans. I left the hem on these raw on purpose. Um, I did do a line of stitching around the bottom so that they will only fray so much. But I love these. I love that raw hem. They're crop like a seven eighth pant. Um, I wear these all the time. So, and again, these are a great staple. I mean, white jeans, you can wear those into summer and they're a fantastic transition piece. So I put these in as bottom number one. And again, they're wonderful. You've seen me in them a ton because I wear them a ton. <laughs> also, those are the ginger jeans, but I lowered the rise. One of the views of the ginger jeans has a lower rise than the other can't remember which one's which, but one does have a really high, like right at your natural waistline. I um, mean, that's the skinnier jean, which these are the skinnier jean, but I lowered the rise on them. So they sit below my waist, um, which I'm fine. Like any pant that sits like an inch below my waist, no issues at all right now. It's only when things are at my natural waist that I'm having the issues. So that's why these pants are so wonderful too. So these are Simplicity 8056. And um, I will have those, these are the sew along pants and the sew along will be up for these, um, like I said, next weekend. So a week from today that you're watching this, plus a day. <laughs> um, and it's a two-parter. So I'll have one video up on Saturday and one video up on Sunday. And I've made them out of, I'm pretty sure I figured out they are a wool Lycra blend. 
um, so it's stretch suiting. The fabric does have some texture to it, and it's a little bit looser weave, so it frayed a little bit like crazy. They're a little see-through, but I mean, in the summer um, or spring, I would wear light colored underwear anyway, or like natural skin toned underwear anyway, so I'm not real concerned about that. Um, and you may be saying, hey, these are wool. You're not gonna wear those in summer, are you? But tropical weight wool, which this isn't quite tropical weight, but it's very similar, is very breathable and can definitely be worn in the summer. Wool is not necessarily, um, because it's a natural fiber, it wicks. And so it keeps you, just like it would the sheep, it keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. So um, wool, a thin wool, I mean, you don't want to be walking around in a tweed skirt or tweed jacket or something in the middle of summer. But used properly, wool can definitely be worn in the summer. So I'm very excited about these pants. They're super comfortable. The lycra in them makes them very, very, very comfortable and gives them a nice drape. So that is the second of my bottoms. Again, was hoping to have a skirt in there, but that's okay. Um, it'll get made at some point. Okay, now on to my three tops. I decided to do two blouses in this one and then one layering piece. So we will first do this one. You guys have seen this one. This is McCall's 7357 and this lovely rayon. I am in love with this blouse. I love this so much. Um, I did a sew along for this and I'll pop a link up to that because people are having issues with the placket. Someone suggested and I, it was one of those like, yes. Um, with this placket, you could do some grommets and do a lace-up detail. It can make it very nautical. Um, I mean, you could do grommets even a little bit higher up where it V's so that the laces are going a little bit more across your chest. I mean, that, that would be really fun nautical idea. I have to look and see who made that comment. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yes. Love, love, love this blouse. And it's going to get worn a ton this summer. Um, I'm just really pleased with it. I've had this pat pattern for quite a while and just haven't, haven't made it up. However, when I opened up the pattern, I've not made this yet, but clearly I had plans to make it sometime because I had cut out my size and altered everything. <laughs> so I had like the sleeves had been shortened, the full bicep adjustment I'd already done on it in my own handwriting. I mean, I was the one that did it. Um, what else? My shoulder adjustments had already been made. And again, this is a cup size pattern. I love the cup size patterns. Um, if you've got a larger bust, they just fit so wonderfully. Um, but I had the correct cup size that was already cut out. Yeah, all the alterations have been made. This was such a fun treat. I don't know why I never got around to making it, but yeah. Anyway, and I made view C, I believe. Let me check. Yes, I made view C of this one. Love this pattern. I would like one in a solid now, maybe in a silk. I love silk. It is not practical for my lifestyle, and so I feel like a lot of times I don't wear my silk blouses. Um, maybe I should just wear them, though, because I do love wearing it, and it's so beautiful. This is rayon, though. Rayon's a good... Um, I do wear rayon a lot, so maybe I should just stick to rayon. <laughs> okay, for my layering piece, I chose to make another Deer and Dogeve, and I'll pop a picture. Hopefully I've been popping pictures of all these patterns up here. This is the tank, and it's just... A nice layering tank. I may wear this um, in the summer, like when it gets warmer. This isn't a merino wool, but again, wool is wicking. In fact, they recommend the merino um, for active wear, if you're sewing active wear, because uh, it does have natural wicking abilities. But this is a remnant of another top that I made. Um, the fabric is from We Are The Fabric Store. I'm gonna link fabric links to the fabric down below as well. Uh, the rayon blouse I just showed you was um, Smuggler's Daughter fabric. I got the yellow suiting at my local fabric store years ago. I don't, it's, yeah, um, so that's not available. But then the cloud knit came from Stone Mountain and Daughter, um, and I can link that down below. And this came from the fabric store, and again, it was a remnant of another top that I made. And, I mean, this, it's a tank top. Like, yeah, that's going to be layered so much this spring and summer, and it's a fantastic color. I'm, yeah, and it took no time at all to make. There may be quite a few more of those, actually, as layering pieces in my upcoming sewing. We'll see. All right, final top. I made this um, M7892, and I made the blouse, which is view B, but I actually cut view D's sleeves and then made my own bias binding to gather the sleeves in. So it's like a three-quarter gathered sleeve. 
So view B has a long sleeve and it uses elastic to gather in, which is fine, but this is a silk blouse. So I changed it and did a bias binding, um, just there's no elastic in there, a bias binding. And again, it's the three quarter length sleeve, which I also really love. Um, and I hand, I've been on a real hand sewing kick lately. And I just hand sewed that bias binding down, um, hand sewed the inside of the waist there. Um, this blouse is gorgeous. Now, after having, I haven't worn really any of these yet because I don't like to wear things until I filmed them because I, I am notorious for getting stains and stuff. <laughs> so once they've been filmed, then they can be go into the closet. But I was noticing, you'll see pins here, I need a little snap right there just to keep the top um, together. I have that issue with wrap tops a lot. In fact, this Mimi G1 that I'm wearing, I actually sewed down um, a little bit there on the wrap just to keep it together because I have big boobs. In hindsight, I would have done, this one is not a custom cup size top, and um, I don't know why I didn't, I know better, but it doesn't have any bust darts, but it has the gathering up here that gives you the room for the bust. I should have done a, a full bust adjustment, and then just rotated the dart into the gathering here at the waist and the gathering here at the shoulder. Um, again, I know better, but I, I didn't do it. I also didn't do a full bicep adjustment on this top for some reason, which I know better. I think I just got excited about the top. <laughs> Just, I, I was, it was right after I got back from um, spring break and I was in a very low depressed state, which I've talked about a little bit, and I just needed a project. And so I cut this one out because um, I was excited to sew it. And so it's, a, it's tight in the arms. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's a silk blouse. It's not like I'm going to be running around, you know, lifting things up over my head. Um, it's okay if it's a little bit restrictive um, for the, just for why I'm, when I'll wear it. But I do want to make this blouse again and do an FBA and do a full bicep adjustment. Maybe in a rayon or even a cotton. Emily Holman just did one in a cotton. And it's just such a cute blouse with the tie. And I really love this one. And it comes as a dress too. So, but those are the changes I would make to that one. So that's it. Those are my six pieces for module one. So I'm going to have the little montage here at the end of me wearing everything so you can see what they all look like together and on. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You are seeing this on Friday, and so on Tuesday, I'm going to have my um, plans video for Module 2. And like I said, I'm not making too much of Module 2. Um, there's going to be some stuff that I'm pulling from my closet that um, go with this little blue, white, and yellow um, color scheme that we have going on. <laughs> So that's all I've got for today, guys. Um, again, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun stuff. Um, you will be seeing the Pants Sew Along next weekend. And again, that's not a time I normally upload, but a little bit of bonus. I'm trying to fit in a whole bunch of stuff because we have a really, really exciting video on Tuesday, April 30th. Um, I have a real fun giveaway to announce. I'm doing a cl collaboration, and it's very exciting. And actually, there's something for everyone in that video. So um, not only is it announcing a giveaway, but I have some coupon codes to give you guys. So ee, you don't want to miss April 30th. Um, and I'm also going to be talking about Me May May on April 30th. I'm going to be doing, I will talk about the capsule that I'm going to be, um, which is what I'm working on right now, but the capsule that I'm going to be using for the entire month of May, because that's how I'm doing Me May May this year. So that's all I have for today. This was kind of a lengthy one. I will um, see you guys on Tuesday, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and get some time to sew. Have a wonderful one. Bye.